This is A S stats. We're in unit four probability and we're in 4.3. And this is example one. So it says let S represent the sample space when a fair dice is thrown. Let A represent the event a prime number is rolled. Let B represent the event that a multiple of three is rolled. So let's write down our three options here just to keep ourselves right. So in terms of everything, we can have one two three four five and six those are our options when rolling the dice um, part a then is a prime so what are our primes here we get a two a three or a five and part b a multiple of three so that's going to be then three and six now you could write in your probabilities here if you wish we'll append in the numbers one to six here so three you can see is part of both i have my a here and my b here six is going to go in here two and five are going to go in here so outside then we're going to have one and four and that's going to help us then work out our probabilities so part one they want the probability of A. We have one, two, three, and a six. So that's going to be a half. Part two, the probability of B is two sixths, which is obviously a third. Um, part three, they want the probability of not B. And remember, we're writing that like this. Probability of B is a third, so the probability of not B is obviously then going to be two thirds. Part four, the probability of A and B. That's both, so it has to be an A and it has to be an B, so that's going to be a sixth. And then part five, A or B. So A or B, if it's in this one or in this one, then we're good. And we have one, two, three, four out of the six in here. So that's going to be four out of six, or if you wish, then two thirds. Um, just down at the bottom here of the page, it says we can use these results to verify the addition rule. So let's see if we can get it to work. So our addition rule is the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Take away the probability of A and B. So our probability of A we had up there it was going to be a half the probability of b again looking above is a third and the probability of a and b that was our answer to part four let's take away a sixth uh, if you want we can do our sums so that's okay change everything to six three sixths plus two sixths take away one sixth is Four sixths, which is two thirds, and sure enough, two thirds is our probability of A or B. So it shows that our addition rule works.